Today we are going to use this little device to open any garage door just by using our smartphone anywhere in the world. It has a really low cost, it's super simple to install and in 10 minutes you'll have the ability to open your garage door from your phone. You can be anywhere in the world and you just need to have your mobile phone and an internet connection. This device is called Shelly One Mini Generation 3 and this switch can do a lot but today we are going to keep things simple and we are just going to automate our garage door. We will take the Shelly One Mini out of the box. We will need only to connect two wires to fit in the live and neutral and two wires to connect to our garage door. Basically that is it. We will fit in on the L and N from our grid and then I and O to our garage door. Simple as this. A few years ago I did this project with the first generation of Shelly One, so in my particular case I will need to remove the older one. Now there are multiple ways that we can wire the Shelly One. I did use a small junction box to take power, which is the live and neutral, from any nearby electrical outlet as you can see on the image and then we will need to connect other two wires that I already have on my junction box that will go to the garage door motor. But before we start safety first. So just go to your electrical breaker and turn it off just to avoid any accidents. Now in my case I'm extra cautious so even after switching it off I double check with a voltage tester. So you can see there that I've got that small junction box near the power source where I did get two wires and I just need to connect those two wires to the Shelly one minute here where it says L for live and N for neutral which is what going to power the Shelly with in my particular case 220 volts. Now I just need to connect two more wires and those two wires will be on the I and O terminal which is a dry contact. Now these two wires we just need to put in the screws and screw it well, that is it, and those two wires will make the connection to the garage door. That is it, simple as this. Each garage door might have a slightly different setup but if you already have a wall switch for your garage door then you can connect the Shelly to the same terminals because those are the terminals. In case you don't you just need to read the garage door manual and you will see which ones you will need to connect. Now let's go to the fun part which is let's turn on the circuit breaker on, let's open the Shelly app and it will automatically detect Shelly 1 mini generation 3 which is really really cool. Now connect it to our Wi-Fi network in about one minute or so it's ready to be used. Now we just need to go to settings, input settings and change switch to button and we will select momentary button. Now let's go to set power on default and let's put it on off so that the door doesn't accidentally open after any power outage. Now one last step which is just go a bit above and where it says auto off let's enable it and set it to one second and this will prevent that the virtual button from staying activate it. And that is it. Now we can open and close our garage door from anywhere in the world. If we need to let a delivery driver in, I can do so. If I need to let a cleaning service in, I can do so just with a tap on the button of my phone. So for example if you already have a surveillance system you will be able to see in real time your door opening and closing. But that's not the only way that I'm able to know if it's opened or closed. In my case besides the surveillance system I also have a Shelly door window sensor which will give me the information if the door is opened or closed. Simple as this. And I also have the notifications on my phone. If the door stays open I will receive an alarm so that I don't forget my garage door open ever. 